Cindy's daughter Valerie is 33 and holidaying in Perth. Not unusual for most people, but it's a big step for them. I push her step up from the house. She cannot stand any noises and everything. She, too, too crowded places, she cannot go. Sometimes she hides herself in the room. She not even want to come out. Everything I push. So every day I increase five minutes, ten minutes, half an hour, until I say, I say, see, you did it. Okay, we go again. We go another time. Even at night, I said, no, we have to go out. Valerie was in her mid-twenties then and mentally disturbed, triggered by some childhood events. When she was young, I'm a single mother. I need to earn money to support the family. And I'm always away from Singapore. And she's taken care by my family. And I always take for granted that for kids, you know, as far as you give them education, buy them everything what they want, it is, it's already a very good mother. But after these few years, I realised that that is not what she wants. What she wants is care and love. And I start really build that kind of love with her. Cindy's strategy to help Valerie seemed like making up for the childhood years when she'd been away. I quit my job because I had no choice that I would quit my job and come back home and full time with her. I had been stationed in a lot of country, helping a, a lot of country to build a lot of workers, a lot of skill. I train a lot of quality person. If I can help others, why I can't help my own daughter? This, this really pushed me up on that. I have really have to do it. Yeah. I have to be patient. Really treat them like a small kid and be nice to them. Really have to be very, very nice with them. If she like chocolate cake. I will go and buy chocolate cakes. <laughs> she like this, she like that. As far as I can make her happy, I will make her happy. So that when she is happy, she have a positive mindset. When she see me sad, she worried. I cannot make her worried. Even how stressful am I? I cannot cry in front of her. I have to tell her I need to go downstairs for a while. But I'm walking on the main road because I can't. nobody will know what I'm doing. I have to scream and cry for, for until I feel comfortable that I come back. Even I cannot cry in the toilet when I shower because she can hear it. My mom, my sis, my brother, they support me all the way and they always remind me don't give up. Having received so much support, Cindy is now giving back, volunteering with Caregivers Alliance. She hopes her journey with Valerie will help others to persevere in caring for their loved ones with mental illness. I learned a lot of things from her. She also got a very kind heart and always tell mommy there's a lot of people needs help. So you understand, so you need to share more with the caregiver to help. Valerie is a very different person today, travelling alone, holding down a full-time job and even cheering up Cindy. I really feel proud of her. I want her to be independent. Really, if one day I'm not around, she knows how to manage. <laughs>